I'm Gunnar, this is Tamlin, and this is our 2014 Thor Challenger. And uh, we bought it in Arizona. So we drove over there and picked it up. Immediately noticed something we weren't crazy about about it. Front right corner would lean down on this RV. And we, as we were coming across the uh, desert through Palm Springs, it would blow us almost over. Almost off the road. Almost off the road, yeah. So we were like, gee, what'd we get ourselves into? But And I had to actually be on the wheel and driving it the whole time, because I don't know if you know, but as you go through uh, Palm Springs, if you go through there at a certain time, it's just extremely windy, crosswinds, and it'll whip you back and forth. And she was actually pretty stressed out over it. No, I don't like an e-ticket ride. <laughs> I want an A-comfort ride. Uh, we knew we had to do something. I actually was thinking about putting airbags on it. Uh, I talked to a lot of people with RVs, and they were using those. But they're not adjustable once you set them. I mean, you have to get out and set them or put in a pretty convoluted air system into it, and they're not, they're not intelligent. Unlike liquid springs, it's an intelligent mm -hmm. system. It's, mm -hmm. it's smart. It, it, it senses what's going on before you can even think about it. So the first thing was for me is leveling the RV out as if it's going down the road straight instead of yeah, sitting I mean, on an angle. Going sideways. <laughs> Got to take our first ride up to Big Bear. Going through the mountains of Big Bear. What a difference. Oh, night and day. Wow, night and day, definitely. And I, I say I could drive like a sports car going through those mountains. It's just a much more comfortable ride. You know, you want to be able to just cruise and not worry if you're going to fall off the cliff. Or You know, to me, that was a godsend. When I drive it now, I don't have to be up on the wheel. I mean, I was actually a little nervous myself. It was a white knuckle ride, and that's not fun. I drive it now just like I do my Mustang. I just hang onto that steering wheel and no troubles. The things I like mostly about Liquid Spring is I get to drive my RV like a sports car. It is just, the handling is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's obviously the other things, the, the noise on the road, that's to me a given, but the fact that I can go through curves and corners at the standard rate of speed, I mean, most RVs, they have to reduce their speed below the speed limit substantially, irritating the people behind them. I don't have to do that. I can roll right with the speed limit and feel comfortable and relaxed.